Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory, the series where um, we've built up from nothing. No FIFA points, uh, just took advantage of the game modes and the uh, catalogue and everything else which EA have thrown at us. And yesterday we did a draft. Successful draft, we won. Uh, problem was, we didn't really get much from the packs. You can see what's sold on the transfer market, guys. Uh, we were able to sell Vieira, Walcott and Navarro. A little bit of coin, but not the best, you know, not the best. So today... I'm doing another draft because I've stopped with squad battles. Reason being, you can see guys not picking up maximum points, which I want to get, but my rank, it's elite one, 71,000 points. To get into the top 100, I need 74,000, literally 3,000 points away. So with, I think it's 12 games left, I'm going to get nowhere near it. So I'm just going to settle for elite one and uh, that's going to be me done uh, for settling elite one rewards, which will be tomorrow's episode in the morning, guys. So make sure you do check uh, that out. Um, so if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes, go and check out g2a.com. Their link is down below. If you try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So teams are how we look now. I've, I've eyed up and I'm actually going to set up a uh, squad um, now of like one to watches which I want, which in, which players I want to upgrade the team. So one to watch. Um, this it's not going to be one to watch cards. <laughs> that that's going to be a given, guys. Uh, but we are going to go for players which I do want to potentially get into the team. Now these are upgrades for the France and the France and the Serie A team. Insigne is the first uh, first one. He is really, really cheap at the moment. Uh, so that's going to be a Serie A player I need. The French player I want is Varam. I want him at centre-back. Um, they also want one more player as well, which is Usman Dembele um, for the replacement of, I think it's... Who have I got out there? I've forgotten. Dembele. He's one I want. For the right midfield position. And I wanted a new left winger as well. And I can't remember who, who I wanted from France. Uh, like the French team's literally the one I want to upgrade the most. Because the Serie A team's pretty solid. Um, in the goalkeeper position I wanted Lloris. Was it Lloris? Yeah it was Lloris I wanted. Um, but the only problem is he's pretty high rated. And he is pretty expensive uh, as well. Uh, being like 60k. So he's ones. These, <laughs> these are the French ones. Goalkeeper. Defence in the Serie A. Not really an issue, even that the, actually the right back was, um, but I don't know who I'd put that in there. Maybe Florenzi um, would be one that I add into the team. So if I do pack any of these in the future, um, that like what the hell is going on, D pad? Um, these are the players which I would love to get into my teams, and I don't know who else. Oh, Nangolan, Raja, uh, Nang. Nangolan, but he's probably the most expensive out there. Wish list, which I do want. He's in there. We've got a loan version, but I want his uh, official one. And then there was one more French striker to replace, uh, French left forward to replace Ntep. And I can't remember, so I'm going to quickly pop onto Foothead, guys, just so you guys know what I want. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's search Ntep. I know Frank River is one of the highest rated there, um, but it's right wing, isn't it? France position. So there's Pogba position, right? Uh, left in it, left wing. Left wing and left forward. So we've got Ribery, Payet, Lamar, that's it. And we've also got him as a loan uh, as well. But he's he's the one I want, Lamar. And I've not looked at the price of these players, but over the period of this week, the aim is to get a lot of these to throw into a team. And maybe one centre midfielder to replace Cyprien as well. And then that French team, apart from the left back and right back, uh, are pretty much sorted. So if we look at left backs and right backs now, like left back, who will we get in there? We've got um, we've got Digne, we've got Hernandez in. There's not really many good choices uh, for them. Mendy 82 pace, probably would be Petit, uh, so that's not really going to be an upgrade for me. Right back, I've got no issues with the right back, um, as we do have, I think it's Malkut, who's 84 pace, um, but Sidibe would obviously be a really, really good addition um, to the central uh, central figure in the French team. And I'm going to look at centre midfielders as well. And then you can see the wish list which we want, guys. Obviously, I want two strong teams. We've got Schneidlin, we've got Kante, we've got Pogba. And it probably would be Taliso. Yeah, I think to replace Cyprien, I would want to throw Taliso into the team. Or even, yeah, it would probably be Taliso over Kante. Um, and it's one of these two. One of them is the one to watch, one of them isn't. 
that's the one to watch. He's actually a reasonably cheap player. We could pack him this week, guys. But they're the dream players. So anyway, we're going to get into the draft now. We're going to kickstart it. Um, today and uh, spend another 15,000 coins on it. You guys know we were pretty successful in the draft this year, um, this past year in FIFA 17. I'm hoping that's going to be the case this time round as well. So we're committing 15,000 coins in. We've got the 4 3 3 attack. I would have gone that if it was the wide one, but I'm going to go the 4 3 3 attack this time round and just try and have a repeat of what went down last time. So we get a Bamiyang, we get Lukaku and Lionel Messi. I'm going to go with. Should I go with Lukaku? Nah. We're building to win. We're not building to, to uh, do anything else. We're building to win. Striker position. We get silvers now. Bloody hell. What league's that? Liga Bacoma Mex. Probably a better chance of linking him, but he's just going to be a filler. Left wing. We get Eden Hazard. We get Neymar. We get Ronaldo. No, I don't think I took Ronaldo in the last one, so I'm taking this time round, guys. Um, centre midfielder. Koke. Kovacic. Herrera. Koke looks good. Uh, but Kovacic for the strong link could work. Yeah, so I'll go with him. In the cam position, Didavi, Forsberg, Fekir. Um I like Fekir. Uh But then Lanzini, actually. If we get like Sergio Aguero, he could work with a hybrid. So we'll take him for the time being. Centre mid. Koke again. Sol. It's pretty attacking, isn't it? Mm, let's go with Sol uh, rather than Koke just for that defensive mind. Kovacic and, and them two will be all right. Right back, we've got Korchia. Uh, got an Atletico Madrid player there as well with 81 pace. So I'm going to go with his choice. And then left back, can we complete it? Marcelo and Jordi Alba. Oh, which one would... I'm going to take Jordi Alba, guys. Really, really fast. I think he's better than uh, Marcelo. So I'm going to go with him. Midfield's very, very sloppy. Like, really sloppy. So, I'll go with uh, with him. And then next, centre-back. Garay. Uh, 43 pace, uh, And Cahill. Uh, I'll go with Garay. Just because of La Liga links. And then, goalkeeper. Who can we jump on? Right, these picks are bad. Right, it's going to have to be him for the time being. Right, so we're looking for a better goalkeeper. A few better players. We start off with no goalkeepers. Ooh. Oh, my days. Let's go with Edison in case I'm able to get a Brazilian centre-back from La Liga. Um, no one in here either. That's a little bit frustrating. Next pick. These are not bad picks. Um, Martinez. We'll go with Martinez there for the Spanish link. Takes us to 100 chem. So we have got a full chem team. Apart from the cent uh, from the cam and the striker. Um, instantly, guys, I'm going to take that Paulinho. Because he looks absolutely nuts. And I've been watching people play with him. And now we just need another... Well, another centre midfielder would be good. We get Silva. I could have used him. Could have used him. Still going to take him, though. I reckon he'll be pretty useful. And the striker looking for, like, a Suarez. We've got a Perez there. Perez is going to be our main man. So that's the full chem team done. But obviously do want to take a lot of players out of this team. We get Murata. We get Neymar. We get Wanyama. Murata... Wouldn't fit into the team. Actually, no, wouldn't fit into the team. We need perfect link. Uh, striker's not really an issue, so I'll take Neymar. Um, I didn't really enjoy him in the last draft, but he might do all right this time. Lucas, Di Maria, Bale, and also Yarmolenko as well. Uh, I'll go with Gareth Bale. Maybe come on and do the business in the midfield. Next pick, Hernandez. Yeah, I'll take Hernandez. He might be able to come on and do some business. Three picks left. We've had the silvers already. Sanchez, De La Faux. Uh, I think super sub wise we're alright but then again we don't really have any good choices for anything else so we'll go with Delafo and then the final two picks guys of this draft I mean, a bit li literally just building to win we get Cancelo, Felipe Anderson, Kimmich um, let's go with Felipe Anderson <laughs> and then the final pick would really really top heavy because it's oh we get Semedor that's a nice one Pace, all right. We're going to get torn through the centre-back position. Um, but I'll take Semedo. Higher rated. Um, 
and that's the team done, guys. So we'll see if we can get a better manager. Obviously, the substitutions, I'm definitely going to change the goalkeeper. We'll get non rare Ancelotti from the Bundesliga. We get La Liga Santander, so we'll go with him. And I'm thinking goalkeeper wise, we are going to have to make the changes straight away and uh, bring them on. So let's get into this draft, guys. See how we do. Fingers crossed, uh, pick up the uh, 8 and 0. And let's see what prizes we get at the end. Hopefully some big bad boy players in the packs. So guys, as you know, with the Road to Glory, the, my main aim was it was to help you guys get better at the game. Hopefully, that is becoming the case. You're seeing the style of play from the goals, the gameplay. You're seeing what I do within the menus as well, the money that we're making. Um, one of the reasons which I've sided towards the draft, we did it yesterday as well, if you guys missed that, go and check it out. But if you look at the pro players, and I'm not saying I'm a professional player, but I do like to mimic them, as a lot of people would love to mimic the really good FIFA players anyway. You see him, that a lot of them have put FIFA points into the game. They've not used it to open packs unless you're the likes of Gorilla, but you've seen most of them are putting a minimal amount of FIFA points into the game. They're playing draft. The winning draft, it is a very, very easy game mode, even though we, we're having um, a little bit of struggle at times as well, because we're still getting used to the game, as a lot of people are as well. But they are basically turning 300 free points, or however much it costs to enter the draft, and turning it into huge, huge money. Um, and that's one of the reasons why. I've looked at squad battles, I've aimed to be able to get... Um, money from that which we have got and in tomorrow's episode guys we will have the elite one rewards as well um so it's going to be very interesting to see to see what does happen uh, with the rewards whether it's as good as last week but you know draft rewards can be pretty sweet they could be pretty crap most of the time but um with the way that the draft has gone and with the, with the way the players are at the moment they are pretty expensive regardless whether they're low rated or high rated uh, it doesn't really matter so my thinking this week guys we need warm-up, we need a competitive style of game um, to be able to get into and get warmed up for the weekend league, which we're already qualified for, and that's the way I'm going to be doing it through through draft. Now, seasons, I'm in Division 10 still. Seasons doesn't really pay out reward-wise. It's not going to help me grow my team. Um, the, it's a little bit of a connection issue in there. So draft, I am think I'm going to stay with it for the week, guys. A lot of you may um, like the draft uh, if you watched the draft of glory last year. This is going to be my way um, to, to do it this time around. I'm probably going to do it at the start. Second week, third week, maybe once a week or something like that. But I just know the massive money can be made to help upgrade my team come the weekend league, which is what I'm going to do, guys. So we are going to be having a play around in draft this week. Um, hopefully you guys do stay around, support it, and uh, see it as a legitimate way to make money because that's what we're doing. We've made good money uh, throughout the series. We've got two solid teams already. Um, obviously... At the start of the video, guys, you will have seen um, the fact that I have wanted to make some major upgrades to the team, and you've seen the players I have circled out for it, and who knows, we may pack these players, we may even um, be able to afford them before the weekend league, and whatever happens with the uh, rewards come the squad battles, it could help me go a massive way. So we're going to try our hardest in draft this week. Just a bit of an explanation as to what's going to be going down, and uh, hopefully you guys, like I said, do support the World of Glory series like you've done already this FIFA. And fingers crossed we can grab quite a lot of players, um, test out a lot of players as well, because Paulinho in this draft was a player which I was like, oh, not really sure of him. He looks like a pretty bog standard player. Doesn't doesn't look like a player who would potentially suit me. He is. He is a player which suits me very well. Ronaldo, also a player which suits me, but we know we're not going to be able to afford him for a god knows how long. Um, and you can see the second game, guys, we go 3 0 up. Stuff change in this game. 3 0 up, looking comfortable. Obviously, I'm thinking in the back of my head, we don't need to get too many goals. Um, just try and push them out for a rage quit. In the 42nd minute, guys, some bad clearance in, bad passing by me. Allows, like, two bad passes there. Allows my opponent to a low driven into the area straight to Dybala, who taps it in. 3 1. Um, he pulls it on the score sheet. Second half, still learning pass and play, still failing at pass and play. Um, so I was in a comfortable position to start learning the game. We get done with a bit of skill there from Ronaldo. He finessed it into the bottom corner, making it 3 2. And uh, seeing the comeback on. And if you remember yesterday's draft, guys, you will have seen the fact. We were in a comfortable position, 1-0 um, up in the game, and then all of a sudden we fall one down. Like That's how fast games do change. 80th minute, my opponent doing some nice passing inside the area. Finesse shot from Ronaldo again, makes it 3-3 in the 80th minute. Um, so from a 3-0 win, all the way down um, to a 3-3 draw, and uh, extra time approaching, but a long chip ball down through to Neymar, who is a player, guys, 
I'm not really liking, I won't lie to you. Um, we get into a position for the shot, hit the post, bounces out, Ronaldo gets a rebound on a tightest of angles and the keeper puts it into the back of the net, making it 4-3 to us. Um, looking like we're going to be potentially walking away over the wing, guys. How wrong was I? Ball through to Ronaldo, Ronaldo scores. 4-4 in the 88th minute. Very, very similar to what happened in yesterday's draft where we were... I think it was 6-5 up, or 7-7, seven, or seven, seven, I can't remember, 7-6 up, and then my opponent got a penalty in the 120th minute and equalised, um, and this game was going that way as well. So extra time did appear, 94th minute, a nice attack from us. Um, Ronaldo with the ball, nice bit of dribbling, nice finish shot past the keeper, makes it 5-4, and uh, we're in the lead comfortably. The game slowed down though from this point, um, very, very minimal opportunities for both me and him in the 108th minute. Yet again, uh, you can see Dybala with the ball, dancing around with it. Nice, patient pass and play. Um, cuts on the inside. I didn't want to drop him. Gets it ball through to Toure. Toure opens a shot up. Finesse shot into the far corner. He makes it 5-5 in the 110th minute and uh, did take the game to penalties, guys. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to go to penalties um, at this stage, but it did. Edison on penalty kicks I don't know what's going on we scored it anyway we made it 2-2 um, and uh, he was stepping up for his we'd already missed a penalty as well he steps up for his penalty we do save it Dybala going to the left hand side and uh, saving it putting us on level terms after three penalties Ronaldo Ronaldo this time in the middle uh, changed his angle goes for the shot to the right hand side shoots to the left we do make it um, a nice uh, lead there for us. You can see Lacazette steps up for him now. Another penalty and the keeper dives over the ball, putting it into the back of the net and uh, making it 3-3. Then Lionel Messi steps up for me. Penalty, shoot, uh, penalty kick, which he should score, goes to the right-hand side and uh, does make it 4-3 to us. And the final deciding penalty guy steps up for Hyung Min Son of my opponent. He goes for a weak shot and uh, we do save it there with Edison being the, ha being the hero of this, scoring on the penalty shootout and uh, also being able to uh, obviously not keep a clean sheet throughout the match, but who knows. Semi-final! Into the late stage of the draft, Shevchenko, Neymar, Bale, and Zonzi, uh, Budaboos, Was, uh, Ferdinand, Mascherano, Vidal, Alba, and also Leno in net 100 chem 84 rated. Shevchenko is a player who I've loved, loved to look at, and it was his, actually his 91 rated version. But look at that for an absolutely wonderful goal from Paulinho, putting us 1 0 up and. Um, and giving us a nice lead after one minute. Uh, long shots, not really tested them. Wanted to test them out this game. Ball through to Perez. He works the angle. Another long shot. Keeper, I don't know what he's doing. His angling was completely off um, like off centre. And uh, two long range goals in five minutes, guys. Sees us go 2 0 up against my opponent. Um, Paulino getting one. Perez with the other. Paulino with the ball there. Gets it, tries to get it through to Perez. Gets it through the second time. Nice bit of dribbling. Smash it in the post. Perez getting his second goal of the game in the 16th minute and this was pushing towards a rage quit after yesterday's one where we got three rage quits in the four games this wasn't the case in this one my opponent did stay around Lionel Messi with the ball dribbling into the area nice ball roll inside goes for the uh, pass back square back simple tapping and uh, I think that was Lucas Perez again with his hat trick a nice 4-0 win guys and uh, didn't make any substitutes on this one so we pick up 1,892 coin well, no 1,892 coins and uh, that is us into the final of the draft uh, going to be a difficult um, one especially with the R9 Ronaldo uh, one to watch uh, Rodriguez Sterling Sané Gundo and uh, Fernandinho quite a lot of City players in there actually Rose um, Laporte Ferdinand Inform Valencia and also Ruffier in net so a solid team 99 chemistry and um yeah, hell of a lot of danger could be in this team. One of the dangers was going to come from R9 Ronaldo. Nice bit of uh, defending there from me. Fast counter-attack as we roll the defender. Look at the gap we got on there, guys. Literally just rolled him in and the sprint boost. Uh, ball through to Ronaldo. Inside through. Back to Ronaldo again. He's in the position to square it back. And we get a nice goal there, as uh, I think it was. And I'm going to double check, guys. Yeah, it was Paulinho yet again on the score sheet. Very dangerous player. I'm looking to bring him in as a super sub just to have on the bench if needed to clear up the game. Or even if I need him for attacking or defending, he looks like he could do the business. Not long after that, in the 24th, Lionel Messi inside the area turns back nicely, um, waits for the open space, gets it through, down to Kovacic. Kovacic through to Paulinho. Paulinho to Ronaldo. Nice bit of play, guys. 25th minute, we go 2 0 up in this game. And it's looking safe. It's looking like we're going to be walking away with some decent rewards again. And uh, literally all I want to do is be able to get some nice... Well, 
is to get some nice players in it. Nice finish here. Neymar makes it free, guys. <laughs> a bit of a terrible um, fast-paced clip, but we're still going forward. Waiting for the ball over Ronaldo with a finesse shot. Right over the keeper again. Three long shots, all decent in this um, Road to Glory episode. 4-0, no coming back for my opponent, um, or was there? There was going to be uh, some unfortunate goals, which I did concede. Bad defending by me. 59th minute, you can see Fernandinho with the ball down, through to Ronaldo. Nice bit of uh, dribbling and strength. Rounds it with the defender and uh, smash it into the top corner to make it 4-1. 60th minute, a little bit too late for my opponent, in my opinion. Um, but anything can happen with FIFA. Literally can score four goals in ten minutes. That's especially at the start of FIFA. Opponent throws it out into the middle. Ball uh, gets through to the wing, um, but is intercepted nicely by Alba. I somehow passed it back with Ronaldo. He gets it through to Chupa, Chupa Morting. Ronaldo gets it back. He makes it 4-2, guys. But thankfully, the game did say, stay this result. And we do pick up a 4-2 victory in the second draft on the road to glory. Hi, guys. That is another draft victory. A good win as well against Jordi FC. We were falling a little, started messing around, didn't really want to do too much damage. But you can see it's 22 shots, 70 on target, four goals. Not a good conversion rate, but do not look at it um, like the conversion rate. You can see we're like 3k, maybe 6k away from uh, what we did. We're going to claim our prize. We hit some good rewards, which we have not. I don't know. Two mega packs and a premium gold pack. I will take that. That should give us some really good stuff. Don't know why they've not got... Um, things on uh, but we'll see what we can get from it now a lot of people may be put off by the fact i am doing draft do not be put off by the fact i'm doing drafts but i promise you guys reason being we can do a lot more stuff in this in these drafts than we could have done in the draft of glory last year reason being these drafts are earning and going to something what they're going towards is money for a team to use, and uh, that's why I'm wanting to do it. Costil, most of this stuff is just going to be kept in the club. Costil, I don't think, so. actually, it could be a good uh, French keeper for me temporarily. Um, so I might keep him. Um, maybe that, maybe him. Is he worth anything? Doesn't look like it. I might see what his cheapest bin is, but I'm more likely going to keep him unless it's like a huge player. We actually get another gold pack in there. We've got a hot chem style, we've got a player fitness, um, and a few others as well. So a pretty uh, good return there. We'll open the gold pack again, then we've got two mega packs. Um, and one of the reasons, guys, I'm doing the draft is because it is a legitimate way of making money. We've earned coins through squad battles, through daily catalogue, daily objectives, all that stuff. And uh, now we're at the stage where we've got coins to play with. We've got two decent teams ready for foot champions. And the way to, obviously, is, he, is Geist worth anything? 400, no, he's not worth anything either. Um, right back to right wing back. Some nice kits in there, actually. I, I actually do like that grey kit. Um, but I won't use it. But we'll hold on to them players. Obviously, gonna, could help us in future SBCs. We've got Morrison being Scottish from West Brom. 500 coins. Right, so so that's some money there. We'll uh, sell him on. We've not even got to the uh, Mega Packs yet. So let's see what we get from the Mega Pack. Can we get anything good from there? Please, one to watch or a flare. Nothing in the first pack. Um, we have got some rare players, though. French goalkeeper. Not the same one. Is that Is that the same one? I think it may be, guys. I think we just got Costil again. Um, pretty tidy player. Uh, but Vieira, Inaki Williams, uh, him, him. Maybe Raphael as well. I'm trying to think if I can use Raphael and my team. I don't think I can. Maybe just get rid of all them. Uh, we'll hold on to the silvers and all that good stuff. But there were some nice players in there. Uh, we've got contracts, player fitnesses, consumables, and Costil was a player which we uh, did obviously um, get. And we'll try and sell uh, that fitness item off as well. So the next one is a mega pack. Still hoping to get that high-rated player which a lot of people are making money from in draft. We haven't got another one. Damn, can we at least get one player worth like a Werner? English, right wing, Sterling. Nice. We get Raheem Sterling from the draft, guys. 82 rated. Um, should give us our money back for earning uh, uh, playing in it. Uh, Rami as well. Anyone else it worth in there? I think it's just Raheem Sterling who's going to get me the money here. How much is he sell for? 8.4. 10k bid there. So that's Raheem Sterling. He's paid for the draft himself, guys. And the rest is just cadden fodder, which we can keep. Um keep for SBCs and stuff like that to help us in the future, which is one of the reasons why I do want to hold on to a lot of stuff. We've got the Manchester City kit as well. If it sells, I'll sell it. 150, it's got a bid on. 
So we'll get rid of that kit. Um, hold on to the remaining stuff. Uh, as you know, I'm a little bit of a collector guy, so uh, this, this uh, hopefully should have some decent stuff in it. And then we've got this guy who is selling, but I know he'll sell for only 300, but I know a lot of people at the moment are doing daily objective, um, weekly objectives where you got to buy a place for 350 off the market. So I'm gonna sell him now, and uh, someone can pick him up for 350, which still gives me a little bit more coins um, than obviously uh, listing him up. And how, does this guy even sell? Doesn't look like it, does it? We'll, we'll probably end up just discarding him, guys. So, that's the end of the draft today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Throughout the week, I'm probably going to be doing the same stuff yet again. And the reason being, guys, is obviously... Um we can make some good money this week and we've already got some good players there like Naki Williams and Raheem Sterling. That's some good coin. But let's get into it guys. Um, hopefully you support me on whichever way I go with this. No fee points are going to be added but we're making some good coin already and got some good players in the team. So leave a like, comment, subscribe or not. Back again another time another video for you guys to enjoy.